So hello everybody on YouTube, we're going to record this video on our sorcerer, who is basically a model. Uh, this is our first day properly playing Last Epoch, and we have discovered something that's definitely getting nerfed. Uh, we're going to be using fire in this one, mostly. Meteor is the only one th skill that I am using, and teleport. And you'll notice that when I teleport, I get a whole lot of ward, which I'm going to keep calling energy shield because I forget that it's called ward over and over again. But it happens every time I teleport and it doesn't decay enough at all. And it ends up being a very, very, very stupid amount of effective health. And this character is absolutely immortal and it will get nerfed. So going into the skills to find out why we're using teleport with bubble bond for a whole lot of ward this one for raw ward retention and thought bubble for a whole lot more ward scaling with our intellect what else scales with our intellect all of our damage uh, so because of that we're using meteor which uses a lot of mana covers a lot of area and basically we just get to skip the entire game and kill everything in giant giant groups this is the end game right now, Monolith of Fate. I'm going to pick the same ones I always pick, which is give them more damage, because the amount of damage they do is irrelevant. And we will run this real quick to show people how it goes with our very long load screens. Uh, what I will say is the other two skills, three skills that are on my bar, two skills that are on my bar are just not getting used. You could put whatever you want in there. Um, just using Meteor teleport and the one that gives us mana back which is called focus that's it so basically as soon as i start teleporting i become a model which means i don't need to bother clearing anything it can just all chase me it's just not going to do any damage this was this is definitely the build i would jump into hardcore with because it's pretty much impossible to get killed once you get teleport. I do not know how long this will last. So as you can see from our ward, the longer we go, the more ward we get. With our 350 total life, we're already up to nearly 2,000 ward. So my entire strategy here has just been run to the end then there'll be a very, very, very large group of things chasing you that you kill all at once. Up to we go. Oh, no, this way. Do, 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 do. Where's our boss man? We'll be coming up soon. Here he is. Hello, boss man. So basically, we just keep teleporting here and dropping things. Teleport on cooldown, drop your meteors, teleport on cooldown, get your mana back. Teleport on cooldown, drop meteors. We just can't take damage. We don't need to dodge anything. There's, we don't need to worry about mechanics in this fight or any fight ever. Pretty much right from the word go. So, tomorrow we'll be moving on to different characters because I finished all the beta content on this one and it's immortal, so. Doop -doo -doo, get our mana back as quick as we can. I think I have focused a little too hard on uh, ward retention because I'm way 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 over immortal and I could probably spec out of some of these points and get a bunch of damage but I could also just level again and get more damage so that's fine as well Doop -doo -doo. I'll throw one of them because it's funny looking
think my favorite part about this skill is that I can't see what's happening and it doesn't matter at the same time. Oop, nearly done. And we're done. So pretty much this will work with any version of a sorcerer that you want to go with. Uh, you could use the lightning or the cold versions. All that really matters here is ward retention in a uh, mage, and then just as much damage as you can get a hold on on whatever element you want, and uh, the teleport to give you an infinite amount of effective life. And I'll be very interested to see how long this build lasts, but there you go. Immortal build at day one. Fun times.